NASA has a long history working with Wind River. Wind River software is in many NASA missions. NASA IV&B was created for the primary purpose of independent validation and verification of mission critical software. One of the goals that NASA IV&B group had was to create a virtual simulation, software-based simulation such that they didn't need to have all the hardware involved in a typical mission. The challenges that NASA was facing are similar to other industries. They all have similar testing and validation challenges. And so what Wind River Simix provides for NASA is the ability to create a software simulation environment such that they don't need to have all the hardware. They are able to take advantage of our Simic solution to provide that capability and it gives them insight into exactly what the binary is doing with or without source code. The benefits they get are the ability to actually run the binary completely unmodified. What that means to them is there's no cross compilation that needs to take place, there's no instrumentation. They simply load the binary into the Simix environment and it boots and they're up and running. Now they can do things like stop it. And when they stop, the whole system stops. So they have control over everything within the simulation environment that's within Simix. They can step through and Simix will tell them what the software is trying to do so that they can inspect to make sure that it's actually fulfilling the system requirements. They can do things like checkpointing, stop the system, record it, and come back to it in time. Those types of capabilities you just can't do in hardware. The benefits they get are obviously the reduction of not needing the hardware or being dependent on the hardware from a scheduling perspective. It also gives them the ability to propagate the simulation environment on everybody's desktop such that they all can have the common element of truth in debugging and testing the software. It gives them a rich debug environment so that they can actually find and identify issues very early in their testing cycle and get them corrected. That helps save the mission. NASA IVNV was able to leverage through the use of Wind River Simix the ability to reuse up to 90% of the simulation environment when going from one program to another. For example, the GPM program to the James Webb Space Telescope program. NASA IVNB was able to achieve tremendous business value through the use of Wind River Simix. Hardware alone, while it's not the greatest benefit of Simix, has saved them in excess of $1.1 million for the GPM program, the Global Precipitation Measurement Program. So the overall cost reduction is huge savings in time, huge savings in hardware, lab facilities, and a great collaboration environment.